bike riders are the worst. We're going to turn it off onto the Wheelbarrow Ridge track. It's the Yamaha T team. Which is called the Bicentennial track. Did not expect that, I have to, <laughs> I have to admit. Good little road. Yep. But the worst thing you can have is an oncoming motorcycle. Yeah, we're um we rode that one uh, a few weeks ago going the opposite direction. Yeah. And um yeah, because particularly two bikes are leaning and towards each so other. So many bikes are on the wrong side of the road. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I ride that really carefully because I've come around corners and I'm going, shit, you're on my side of the road and you're leaning across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if I was a car? Yeah. Yep. They're coming along the road. Yeah. Motorcyclists are the worst. <laughs> uh, the push bike riders are the worst. Uh, but they don't lean as far as the motorcycle riders. <laughs> yeah, but they don't stay in any set no, position that's either. True, true. At least the bike you know is going to be on the inside. You hope, yeah. The push bike, <laughs> they're all over the shop. True. true. Okay, so what we're going to do now is cross that bridge and the start of the real Wheelbarrow Ridge Road is just after that. Yep. And if you headed, if you went all the way along to the, that, you would hit the putty road. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. We're gonna turn off onto the Wheelbarrow Ridge track. Yes. And that's gonna bring us back down over here. Oh, okay, cool, okay. Awesome. Days like this, I wish my bike was running. There you go, it's a beautiful day, especially now that we've been released. Yeah, yeah but mine's a, an old 1984 RZ250. Awesome. Oh, no. Straight, yeah. Street bike. That, that's now a collector's item. Yeah, I was looking the other day. Yeah, I said to the nine green. Mono shock. It's awesome bike. Still getting used to the height of this thing. Yeah. Thank you. for drinking some snakes. <laughs> you bring water? Yeah. So that, typically that's that road there is an adventure style road. That's how I view it. You're, you're going somewhere. You, you guys went to Nundal, I believe. To um, Moon and Flat. Moon and Flat, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Same direction, but you yes. went on Bitumen. That was all Bitumen, yeah. We didn't get into, um, into Barrington. Yeah, there's some great roads around that area. And that to me is a, and that, that's the adventure. You're going somewhere, you're camping, you're doing this on bikes which can go on all roads. You've got that, uh, no, AB, no ABS on the back, but ABS. A tiny bit on the front. front yeah. yeah. How do you find that? That's perfect. For this sort of road? <clears throat> yeah. What, I mean, if it's really, what if it's really technical? It still doesn't matter, you know. Okay. Speak, that's why yeah, I like yeah, to speak yeah, to the yeah. expert. Yeah. No, it doesn't matter. I'm Bill. Rob. Rob. G'day, Vern. Vern. Vern? Vern, yeah. How are you? V or V? V. V, Vern. Yeah, oh, isn't it good to be out? Oh. So this is the new one, isn't it? So it's, yeah. it's the Yamaha T team. Yeah. <laughs> the Tenere Tragic. <laughs> now it's Vern and Bill. 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 Yeah. Hey, guys. This is Chris. 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 Oh. How's it going? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got your rubber glove on underneath? <laughs> <laughs> Old you school. You these guys as well. Yeah, well, I've yeah, seen yeah. Bill Shit, around. Yeah, old, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't met Vern before. Yes. So what do you think of the new one? 
Well, I haven't ridden it yet. That's and mine. Oh, that's yours. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Which is called the bicentennial track. Yep. Okay. When it, when we hit that, we're going to go along there a little bit until there's a, an intersection. I'm going to go down that intersection a little bit. I'm going to take you to a lookout. Yep. Okay. Awesome. Alright, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is Wilbur Ridge Track as opposed to Wilbur Ridge Road. Apparently, it used to be uh, a lot more technical, but since uh, it's been graded, it's not as as it used to be, much to the despise of some riders. Heaps of people out today, which is awesome, and very unsurprising. Basically my speed, yeah, of course on the capability of the bike and myself, but also based on people coming the other way. It is a bit of a busy road. I've already encountered a couple of bikes, but no doubt encountered cars, even trucks at some stage. did not expect that, I have, to, <laughs> I have to admit, I did not expect to see cyclists on this road. Are they lost? <laughs> Good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting more comfortable. Sorry? Getting more comfortable. Just staying in balance. Yeah. If you're finding you're gripping the handlebars too much, you're not balanced. Yeah, that's there's definitely moments where I go, but it's the gear shift as well. Like I have to move my foot so far forward yes. to get to the shifter. Like from back here, yeah. I literally have to lift off, get my foot off. You, and I do as well. Right, yeah, yeah. 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 So you, you end up riding on one thing. Yeah. Okay. Shall we give these guys curry? <laughs> Every time you start, you're going to reset the ABS.
Look up here. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. This is part of the river that we've actually been on. This is the Hawkesbury. But is it like we've been on this path? Yes. It's getting my bearings. Yes, yes, yes. So that's the road down there. River Road. River yep. Road. See that little bit coming down? Oh, yeah, the yeah. River, yep. All the way along. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, so down there is where, that's, where it drops down into that little yeah. gully. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. And back around, and then back up. Yep. You can see bits of it over there. Yeah. No, no, we did all this. We came in. I'll see on the map, but I'm pretty sure we came in a little bit further up. Yep. And we did all this and came around. But but this is Leeds Vale. Right, right, right. I think, I've got to remember, I think this is Leeds Vale. Awesome. I came down here just after the floods and all that was brown. Yeah, yeah. So, Dan, so you got a nice spot here once you sort of, you can stop. You, you but have. you're also, you got to think about, well, that ledge is obviously the next that's the exactly issue, right. right? And you could go, I mean, if you're hitting it with speed, you could go around the outside of that. Well, you could, picking your line, you could come down here and drop off very nicely here. Yep. Right down. And oh, then yeah. you yeah. can look at that. That's not as steep as it looks. No, there. that's yeah. why walking is so much yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could also come down here yep. and pick up this one and cut across. But see, that's, that would be difficult in itself. You'd actually need to kind of come across here and try and drop down there. Yeah. You're right. I think your way is better. Come down here. Plunk, plunk, plunk. Well, you've got a little less momentum. Like, you can... There, you've got to have some momentum. Whereas yes. here, you can kind that's of... Right. So you're coming down here. Then, probably want to aim out over here because yep. it's nice and smooth. Yep. Because it's not, it's not necessarily where where you want to be when you're attacking this bit, but where you want to be 20 metres later. Like, it's like playing snooker. <laughs> what balls do I need to be close to the hole, the pockets? Yeah. So, and then hopefully you can come either down that side or down the yeah. other side. So yes, that's exactly right. You've got to look, okay, if I'm going to pick that spot, where do I want to end up here? Yeah. this morning uh, that was great uh, that was a great ride hanging out so I learned, learned a fair amount today which was awesome a few little techniques and so on I also learned a lot about this bike and I'll tell you what 
around the streets yeah it feels really clunky yeah, big single cylinder thumping away but in the dirt this thing just comes alive it's fantastic you know certainly there's more superior bikes these days but um, but this is a very very capable bike and I actually really enjoyed riding it today I feel a lot more comfortable with it Bill made a really good point at one stage talking about the amount of you know energy conserving like with adventure riding you're always looking to conserve energy and um, particularly when you take on a whole new bike you find that you you burn a lot of excess energy the part of it is nervous energy part of it is um, because it's new and different and then a lot of it is because you just haven't quite got comfortable when I ride the MTO 9 it feels so light on the handlebars like I, I just feel completely you know feel you know like people say like feel at one with the bike but I know that sounds wanky but but the premise is that you feel so connected to it that you can make the tiniest little adjustments with the least amount of effort I think that's the key right this I'm still finding I'm putting a lot of effort into getting it to do what I wanted to do because it's not the bike's fault it's me getting used to it and it's me adjusting to it getting used to what movements do what you know and that's the funny thing is yes there's different techniques and some that you use in the dirt that you don't use on the road and vice versa and it's not those techniques necessarily it's just what's just the exact right amount of balance to move this to there and you know, exactly how much steering input it requires and all those little bits and pieces that just come with time once you get familiar enough with anything really so I'm still getting to that point um, but I feel like I've made a massive dent in that today like I've really sort of progressed forward with feeling comfortable on the bike and you know, particularly in those later stages even those big sort of open dirt road it just felt um, I felt much more comfortable about where I was positioning the bike on the road and the bike was doing doing a lot more of what I expected so yeah so that was a great takeaway for today that and got to find uh, quite a few little nice roads to add to motorrides.com.au <laughs> yeah a bit more content add to the website which is great anyway thanks Bill uh, stay safe have fun see you next time